Hi, welcome everyone to our YouTube channel AU Agri Organics. In this video, we will see detailed information about ASRB, NET, STO, and SMS. So, this video will be very useful to all the graduates who have completed their MSc in Agriculture or any other post graduation in Agriculture and Allied Sector courses, and to those who are currently doing second year MSc or senior MSc in Agriculture and Allied Sector courses. So, this video will be very useful to all. So, if you are new to our channel, you can subscribe our channel and um, for the further videos with related to this ASRB so you can avail our channel membership uh, with the payment of um, 15 rupees uh, in our channel join option so we can so you can watch future videos with related to ESRB with related to how to prepare how to manage a time in exam and what will be the pattern of exam like that many videos like that many videos will be updated in future so with regard to this this notification has been given on 14th march 2023 so this notification is the combined notification for net uh, next is sto that is senior technical officer and a subject matter specialist so for all these three posts only there will be the single exam so only uh, one day that is uh, for two hours for 150 questions you have to write the exam so based on your priority or based on your application and based on the cutoff you will be selected for this one that is a sto or then a sms for example if you are selected for the both then you can attend interview for the both and then in both also there is a chance to get selected in anyone or either of the both or both so next to this percentage and the cutoff for the national eligibility test we can see later so you can apply for all these three if you are completed your graduation that is post graduation if you are currently doing your post graduation then you can apply only for this net next to it related to the important dates this some Submission of online application will be started on 22nd March and this last date and time for this um, submission of this online application is 10th April 2023. You note that only 20 days are left or uh, 20 days are given for this um, filling of application that to up to 5 pm only you don't consider 12 pm. 12 pm will be only for that uh, NTA examinations. This is conducted by purely separately by ASRB. So only time is up to only 5 pm. So you don't uh, miss this one next to this uh, date of examination will be between 26th april and 30th april next to there are different centers across uh, india so you can search that in this annexation number two and this application fees is very important for the unreserved category for the application of net thousand uh, rupees sms 500 and the sto 500 for example if you are applying for these three you have to pay 2000 rupee under unreserved category and ews and obc categories you have to pay this 500 500 500 this obc means only obc ncl not pure obc if you are a obc means then you have to apply only under unreserved category if you does not belong to this obc ncl so this is one important information that they have mentioned inside next to scst and um, pwbd and women it is a 250 rupee for net and for um, sms and sto no fees for example if you are a woman only 250 rupee you may be of any category only for men need to pay 2000 rupee under unreserved category or 1500 rupee under this obc category so this is important information you can note here uh, next tip with regard to this how to apply uh, this video will be given by our channel after this uh, application has been commenced so during that time you can watch uh, that complete video next to they have given here some of the important notes these are with regard to this uh, category and some other information these are not generally needed at this particular time next we can go to other information these are the various exam centers available throughout india for this net sms and sto post there are 44 centers across india next with regard to this national eligibility test we can see this rules and other qualification so you have to complete your graduation before 39 2023 you know to this date for example if you are studying your senior msc or second year msc now so currently you should complete or you should get your pdc before 30th september 2023 so if you clear net now uh, but if you are unable to get pdc before um, this date means then your net qualification will not be eligible or will not be considered but um, you can attend this exam even if you are 
in first year or if you are in second year of your post graduation this is one of the important information so currently students those who are in second year msc or senior msc you don't miss this opportunity you are now you may have been preparing for your qualifying examination and followed by this net examination also so you can easily clear or crack this net examination next there is no upper age limit minimum age limit should be 21 this is only for this net whereas with regard to that st and SMS it will vary. Next number of atoms there is no maximum limit for this number of atoms and the syllabus is available on this website. When we go to this website we can able to download the syllabus. One of the important good option or good information is the syllabus is only old syllabus not new syllabus. This net syllabus is only according to that previous syllabus so this syllabus will be easy as compared to this new syllabus this new syllabus is as per phd standard you no need to read according to this new syllabus you can read only according to that old syllabus next is some of the rules for this national eligibility test that they have given this nationality next age limit and uh, educational qualification so with regard to this educational qualification as i told already you have to complete your uh, educational qualification before 30th september 2023 from any in indian university so you no need to do only under icr accredited or only under state agriculture universities or central like that so you it may be any university if it is under indian university under this uh, central act or uh, state legislation act so you can get this um, you can apply and you can get qualification from this uh, net and they have given this piece structure as we discussed already uh, you can see that fees next with uh, respect to this uh, number of atoms there is no upper limit for this number of atoms uh, with respect to this uh, net next with uh, respect to this uh, plan of examination you note this one mm, so for this uh, unresolved category you have to score 50 percentage of the mark in order to qualify in it so it may be for any subject if you are belonging to obc ncl or ews category you have to score 45 percentage of the mark that is 65 67.5 marks next is uh, sc st pwbd category how to score 40 percentage of the mark 60 mark there will be 150 mark um, questions each question carries one marks it will be on the objective type the time duration is only two hours within 120 minutes you have to attend 150 question this is one of the important information you note this one so in each two minute you have to attend three question so you have to focus or you have to practice to more with regard to this uh, time management next with regard to this uh, eligibility qualification so for example many subjects will not be available under this uh, net examination so you can apply subject under this uh, various disciplines for example remote sensing and digest will not uh, be uh, separate discipline so you can apply in agricultural physics like that uh, different departments will be there so in this you can search and you can apply for your concern department or subject next with regard to this uh, subject matter specialist sms so these are the postings given to that KVK, Krishi Vijayan Kendras attached with the ISAR Institute. So there are different ISAR Institutes across India. So we all know that one. So with regard to this pay scale also they have given. So you can note this pay scale up to 177,000 like that pay scale is there. So 7th pay commission. So you can note that one. Next is vacancy is given in this annexure we can see later next with regard to that um, candidate uh, they will be called in the ratio of 1 is to 5 for example um, if there is one post they will call 5 candidates for the interview so interview consists of uh, 30 marks so this is one of the important information we can see later next to for this um, prescribed qualification that is your subject only so you have to complete uh, before that uh, date that is you could have completed your degree before 10th april 2023 this is one of the important information with regard to this STO or SMS. Whereas with regard to net only they have given up to uh, September 2023. You don't consider or uh, don't um, misunderstand that with this. So this is important information and the upper age limit is 35. This is also another important information. Next to the syllabus is given. The syllabus is uh, as we discussed earlier. The same syllabus is given here. So with regard to this uh, there are different uh, institutes in India so with regard to that KV case so you can apply based on your category and you can give preference at the time of application only so you cannot change that preference once you have applied so this is also another one important information you can go through as per your convenience you can fill the choices for your specific institutes and KVK next with regard to this rules as we discussed earlier in the net examination most of the rules are similar and with regard to this fees also you can see for unresolved and EWS category it is um, 500 whereas regarded to women, SAST and PWBD category, there is no fees. Next, 
with uh, regard to this plan of examination as we discussed already this um, interview will be for 30 marks and um, examination that is uh, while writing the net examination you will get this one so it is for uh, 150 marks total 160 180 marks this time duration for this um, objective examination is uh, two hours so this um, you will be called in the ratio of 1 to 5 to the interview and based on that interview they will select uh, you so next is another one important information is negative mark in this examination so um, if uh, one question is wrong you can you will reduce uh, 0.33 marks that is one third of the mark will be reduced for example if you are losing if you are doing wrong answer for three question means then you will lose one mark so this is also one important information this is applicable both to net and sto and sms so with regard to this qualifying also this minimum marks required is as per the net category only so if once you if you have qualified your net only then only you are able to qualify for this or eligible for this sms this is also one of the important information next this will be similar um, here they have given the vacancy detail for this sto so there are different uh, sto vacancies in different icr institutes so you can note this one and as per your convenience you can fill the choice and uh, here also they have given this eligibility so the upper age limit is uh, 35 years so you note that one next with regard to this uh, educational qualification as we discussed uh, earlier they are given in that annexer and with regard to this fees also it is uh, for unresolved category it is 500 ews obc 500 and uh, scst pwbt and woman it is a uh, nil so these are the various information that are regarded to this icr net and uh, with regard to this uh, sto examination so here this uh, sto also as like sms this interview schedule and other schedules are same and the marks also same so from this uh, you can get one idea with regard to this uh, what does mean by net what is the sto and what is this uh, sms and you can how you can apply for this and um, how the examinations will be conducted what is the pattern of examination like that so this is basic video about this esrb examination so in future for our channel premium members so we will upload a different videos with regard to this um, icr uh, esrb net sms and sto so if you become member of our channel you can avail more videos from us all our videos will be only in english thank you